Please hurry up, Mom. Everyone already left for the bus and forgot about me. Can you please hurry up and pick me up something to eat? Are you still supposed to be around here? I mean, yeah, there's still workers and stuff, but like you look like you're like a, like a fan, you know? Well, yeah, I was just sort of talking to myself. It, everyone's everyone's already already gone. Um, yeah, like even after game shoot around, even some of the coaches and players who wanted to stick around and look at tape, they're they're already long gone. Um, and before you ask, uh, no, I am not a young phenom. Uh, baby goat, soon to be best player of all time, Blake Joller. No, please stop. Uh, that is my brother. Uh, that's not me. So if you're trying to get like an autograph or whatever, that's that's not me. Anyways, can you like get out of here or just leave me alone? I just need to get my stuff and get ready to leave. You know that already. Okay, then what are you still... You're waiting for me to be done. Yeah, I always am like the last to leave. I put all like the basketballs away and like do clean up and stuff. It sucks, but it's kind of how I uh, get respect around here, I guess you could say. You wanted to talk to me? About what? Really? Wow, um, yeah, it's just, um, it's my, uh, the first time actually having someone, like, wanting to talk to me. It's usually, like, an interviewer talking to me about someone else on the team, or obviously my brother, that part sucked, but never just, like, a wanting to talk to me type of thing. You know, I'm, like, new, like, new, new, right? Like, this is my... Uh, second 10-day contract on the team. I'm really just a filler roster spot till uh, the star player comes back and from, from injury, right? Okay. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm just, just packing my stuff up, sort of just finishing cleaning up, and then I'm going to be out of here. I have a, an Uber, uh, yeah, an Uber uh, showing up uh, kind of soon, so I got to be kind of quick. Yeah, we actually have a, a long road trip across the country so kind of need to get home a little bit sooner than what I thought um anyways let me um use some of this hand sanitizer here I have in my locker and uh give you a nice handshake so um did you uh watch the game at all I'm assuming yeah uh so what would you think yeah we lost uh pretty badly like I said of injuries on this team already which is kind of sad to think about but I mean those things sort of make the world go around people sit out and guys like me get a chance even though I'm probably here for like a PR stunt because again my brother's the next greatest basketball player of all time but um anyways um yeah it's nice to meet you your name is um right right okay um well is there um anything I could do for you, or... Okay. Um, about myself. Um, I'm not really anything too special, really. I've really just started getting into basketball when my brother did. Well, actually, that's a lie. I gotta tell you a secret. I'm actually the person who got my brother into basketball. I know. I don't really am allowed to tell people that, so that's just a, a little secret between me and you. Yeah, I know him so supposed to be some sort of you know, crazy talent and all. He doesn't even really like basketball that much. He's in it for the uh, other reasons, the fame, the glory, the singular star portrayal that a lot of basketball players get, but... Uh, yeah, we would practice against each other. It was a lot easier back then, and 
he definitely had a little bit of a, a blow up for sure. And I'm proud of him. He's an amazing talent, but you know, it's nice for someone like you to stick around, I guess, and ask a little bit about myself. Yeah. Um, like I said, I do a lot of shoot around. I shoot the ball pretty well. I like to say I'm also pretty good with calling out plays and yelling at people where they need to be. That's probably why I got a second 10 day contract because it's the playbook and everything like that is pretty simple. And knowing some other teams' defensive schemes and stuff like that, it's been pretty easy to recognize and just giving me a couple of opportunities to, well, obviously not get any playing time because I didn't play tonight, but at least uh, be involved, use my voice, be involved in that sort of way. Yeah, coach appreciates it, but uh, I don't think any of the players do. But uh, yeah, anyways. So, um, did you get any food here? Yeah, I know I'm kind of awkward. Um, again, I'm trying to hustle and get my stuff out of here. Um, did you get any food here while you, you watch the game? What's like your typical like, go to food when you go to a game? Yeah, I know all places kind of have the same sort of stuff, like uh, burgers and hot dogs. Those really cheap nachos with like the 50 cent chips and the 25 cent cheap plastic cheese. But uh, I know some places have some pretty cool places. Um, the pizza here is it's pretty good. That's usually um, my like go-to uh, pizza place. Sorry, this is kind of gross, but it has to be done. But I know um, some places have like even like five star restaurants in some of their arenas it's pretty crazy yeah this is, this is my uh my first team ever pretty exciting to play for a team that i sort of grew up well actually me and my brother grew up watching and cheering on um yeah we suck but uh, it was always fun to cheer with him um yeah you've seen the interviews he's playing for the best team in in the league and the most storied franchise, and he's the new up-and-coming guy. It's sort of meant to be. And I'm just here uh, on the home team, just uh, living out a dream, I guess you could say. Put this on my back real quick. Yeah, um, it's been interesting enough to uh, say the least. It's a lot of practice without playing time and just uh, trying to figure out just what I want to do. Yeah, I've heard... Yeah, yeah. Um, some players take this route and then they go into, into coaching or the film room, be a, I don't know, a consultant for the team, management. Yeah, I don't know. I'll give it a give it a thought. I do think I'm pretty okay with shooting the basketball. I don't know if you saw me outside the tunnel. Um, been practicing a lot. But everything else, um, size, athleticism, defensive capability, scoring at the rim, you know, being able to produce assists, passing the ball, dribbling, you know, footwork, um, I don't have. But I have a couple things, um, but that's another thing I gotta worry about. But yeah, this is my uh, lucky basketball. I keep around a lot. You can tell it's a little bit older. It's a little Spalding basketball. <laughs> it's one that I don't even use in the league anymore. I've had this one for many years, and I always take it for shoot arounds and stuff like that after games. Well, even though we lost, uh, we all lost. So we all have to practice like we all lost. So you got to practice a little extra hard after games and just improve yourself uh, wherever you can. Goes to bed. Oh. Man. Yeah, yeah, I've been definitely been trying to be more connected with the team. Obviously, you can tell they don't really care a whole lot. Yeah, in my locker, I have these cards too. I know for you know basketball players, um, you know, playing cards is kind of like a an old, old, old sort of man's game. You know, even back in like the man since the beginning of the league, players have always played cards with each other. Uh, it's just the fact that I don't know how to play cards. Um, usually, when we're 
on the, the buses and the jet planes to go to different games and arenas. I'm always just shuffling these cards in my hand, uh, waiting for the opportunity to play with my teammates. But uh, I can have only been here for. This is my second 10 day. I think I'm on day 15 on the team. Yeah, they haven't told me yet if I'll be signed for the rest of the season or not. They can, they can sign me to another 10 day if they wanted to, but I doubt they will. But maybe one of these days they'll ask me to play some cards with them. But the only card game I really know is uh, Go Fish. So um, it's kind of sad, but also maybe the opportunity will show itself. I'll just have to wing it, I guess. I don't know. Is that uh, next next to you? Is that yours? I'm, I'm assuming you're the really only people here. Can I give it a look? Awesome. Thank you. You've been here for quite some time, haven't you? You even have the the mascots autograph. You have everyone's. That's sick. This could actually be that should be worth kind of a lot. Yeah, after games and stuff like that sometimes uh, on away games the guys they'll just like leave their old shoes or jerseys sometimes because the league just either keeps them throws them away donates them um i've taken shoes yes i've, I've taken shoes old jerseys headbands wristbands um one time the you know the star player uh, took his shoelaces off and changed them. Uh, I took those and I um, took a picture of them and I'm, I'm putting them on. Uh, I'm putting them on Craigslist. But uh, again, I don't know how long these ten-day contracts are gonna last. But this is actually gonna be pretty good. <laughs> You're funny. You should uh, should be a comedian. It's a good little punchline. You actually want me to sign this? I mean, you do have the mascot's uh, autograph on here as well. So I don't feel too uh, left out, I guess. Uh, fine. Take that. Um, let's see if I can think of a cool thing to say. <laughs> Reach your dreams. He's really not that nice. Um... I don't want to give like my signature like I'm like writing a check. I gotta think of something cool to do, like a design. Don't look. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Let me write a little something for you was as well. A little message. a lot is this your first time or always been a big fan but just never got an opportunity yeah it's again i'm surprised they've let you here here you go uh for so long you're also waiting someone to come pick you up yeah i have my uh my uh, uber come here any minute now um you can take this back yeah i have just been kind of just uh sitting here with you which has actually been really nice. I really do appreciate it a lot. I just have like a couple more stuff to like clean out of my locker. No way. Yeah, let me see. Are you kidding me? You even have a basketball signed by everyone. Yeah, see, I am going to do this as well because uh, this is definitely going to be worth it. A lot of money <laughs> but I was gonna wait till like after they kicked me off the team and I was gonna use that as like a hey guys remember me a uh, goodbye farewell because um, I'm definitely like gonna be selling this but this is really cool if I, if I sign this it will literally go down in value I can't I can't I can't do that 
Are you sure? do it but again it's whatever I'll put it next to the coach he's a pretty nice guy but uh, definitely nothing to write home about does that look good okay I'll just uh, set it next to you yes and uh basically all done. I'm just going to be finishing up my, freshening it up here and uh, make sure we're ready for when my uh, Uber gets here. She definitely hates it when I come here and I'm all stinky and then she washes all my clothes and sometimes they shrink, sometimes they don't and they get all mixed up and then sometimes she does it the wrong way. Anyways, it's, it's a unique Uber the special cost. Anyways, uh, I think that's that's everything, right? Yeah, uh, I'm about to just pack up everything else. I have to. See, these are from the game tonight. I decided to take it, maybe be like a little nice memento of something kind of cool. Like, hey, I did this when I was younger. Future family. Because there's not a lot of people taking pictures of me, anyways. But anyways. Okay, yeah, but I'm pretty sure I already got everything. Um, there's actually, since you've honestly been um, just so, so nice to me, uh, you're the first person to ever come up to me, uh, almost like my, my new number one fan. Uh, I would appreciate if you would, you know, make like a Instagram fan page or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. But anyways, um, I have something for you. These are exclusive. Okay, so shh, don't tell anyone. I have here in my bag, actually. The exclusive, not even released yet to the public, Blake Jaller ones. I know, brand new in the shoebox. Um, yeah, I haven't worn them. Um, I was gonna sell them. Uh, <laughs> he did send me these. Um, I told him about, you know, being here and I thought it was really cool we talk from time to time but he only really kind of talks to me like a fan um, so he sent me a, a free pair of shoes instead of giving me helpful advice that's just how he is but these are really cool looking um, you can open them if you want um, hopefully they're your size or not but you can keep them you can wear them um, you can sell them yourself if you want but again I, you've just been so nice to me and I just wanted to really give back um, in some way shape or form yeah, uh, I can put it next to your basketball on the ground there. Okay, okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything you have all your stuff there. You should be able to carry it all, or is your person going to be able to pick it up when they come and get you? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, my uh, Uber is probably here. My bag is already ready to sit and go. Um, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, if I ever, you know, get a little bit more authority on the team, if I stick around, I'll try to get you out here for another game when we come back from our, from our road trip. Yeah, it seems like you already met everyone, stuff like that, but maybe if you want to do it again or get better seats, um, I don't know. We'll see when I come back if I'm even, if I even have a job. Yeah, um, thanks so much again. Yeah, it's been really great, and, um, hopefully I see you again, um very, very 